Hi everyone, how are you? Well, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the Time Manager plugin. To do so, we are going to install the plugin. We have to open QGIS. In this case I have QGIS 3.0. Uh, we go to plugins and then we go to manage and install plugins. Here in plugins, we are going to search for Time Manager. Here we have the Time Manager plugin, and then we click on Install Plugin. After that, we are going to have the plugin here in this menu toolbar, Plugins, and here it is, Time Manager, we can toggle Visibility. Okay, so here we have the plugin. I am going to open some data and we can analyze that data. So my data is a delimited text layer. I'll try to find the file. Here it is. Okay, so it's a comma separated values file format. Um, I have coordinates, longitude and latitude, and I'll say add, close. I only have two points, and these two points have information about one year of data. Well, they are the average of the um, climate data from 1951 to 2010. We can open the attribute table and I, I can explain you what we have here. So we have the day, we have the month, it is important that we use the correct um, date format. So this column month, this won't work because we don't have the correct format. We're going to use this one, field 2. And with this field 2, we are going to um, we're going to use this column. We have the coordinates, latitude and longitude, and we have some temperature and more data. About temperature and precipitation. Okay, so we are going to use this one, the normal one, this is precipitation. Okay, so let's start by changing the properties of the data. Well, first of all, I am going to save this, this layer as an Esri file, as a shape file. So, I'm going to write time. Okay. Okay. I am going to add a base, base map. Here I have my base maps, these HCMGIS. They are really good. So I'll just click on HCMGIS, base map, and Google Physical. I like this Google physical map. And here we have the two points. If you want to learn how to download HCMGIS, you only have to go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and look for it. HCMGIS. You click on install, and that's all. Okay, so now here we have two points. Let's change the properties of this point. Symbology, I'll use a heat map. I'm going to use uh, this one, magma. Weight points by normal, which is a precipitation. 
and opacity of 50%. Then, well, we can apply and you can see what happens. So now we have the two points and they have a, a heat map. Now let's go to labels. Show labels for this layer. Then label width. We're going to choose normal. Where is it? normal text we can change the font if we want to we can add a buffer draw text buffer and and we are going to add some expressions so here it is going to be the um, the value of precipitation and then I'll use this symbol which is a string concatenation and I'll write this character and then space and then mm which is millimeters and then close it with the apostrophe and then I'll say OK. This is because I want the value, and next to the value, I'll want I want the millimeters. So OK and apply. And OK. So now here we have the two points. We have the heat map, and we also have labels. So now we can start making this. Uh, we're using this time manager, so what we want to see is um, a time lapse so we can see how the values change with the time. We have values for each month, but we are going to represent them with days. So here we're going to click on settings, then add layer layer climate start time it's going to be field 2 then same as the start and ok let's try with this and let's see what happens ok so now let's try with months So, as you can see, we are seeing how it changes with time and with months. So, this is how the precipitation, precipitation changes um, in these two points. We can change the settings of the, of the speed of the, um, of the video. We can say if we say 50 milliseconds, it is going to be faster. Now, if we say a thousand milliseconds, it's going to be slower. So now it depends on what are you doing and what you want this time um, this time manager to do for you. I'll do it again. So here you have the date and you can see how it how it changes. You can change the properties as well if you want to. If you don't like these colors, then you go to symbology and change the color ramp. Maybe let's use the blue as well. Apply, OK.
and in this case I only have two points but if you have more points then you can have a better heat map and you can have a better representation of how it changes. So this is all for this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!